Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to the Shita. How wonderful that we're such a big group uh, in the morning. Good morning everyone out there in the world also. So, um, um, today is a very special day. Today is uh, uh, Shagadava Duchen, which um, is one of the four special uh, great holidays in the Tibetan calendar, which uh, commemorates today the birth, enlightenment and Paranirvana of Shakyamuni Buddha. And it's said to be one of the karma multiplying days. And especially today, the karma of a positive action is multiplied 300 million times since it commemorates the three great actions of birth, enlightenment and Paranirvana of Shakyamuni Buddha. And for this uh, reason, uh, we are going to engage in a light offering, extensive offering practice here together, starting our day in this very wonderful way. So um, we can begin this practice on page 51 of our silver prayer books by um, generating a positive motivation in the very beginning. 51, 5, 1. So we can begin by thinking that the purpose of my life is not only to solve my own problems and gain happiness for myself, but to free all beings from their problems and lead them to all happiness, especially the happiness of full enlightenment. Therefore I myself must first achieve complete enlightenment. To do this I must complete the two accumulations, the merit of fortune and the merit of wisdom. Therefore, I'm going to make charity of these light offerings and make offerings of these lights to the merit field. And then we can begin already lighting the butter lamps. And um, if you want to help together to light the butter lamps together, usually we do recite one mantra in order to make the offering very pure, which is the mantra Oma Hum. So we're going to recite that together while lighting the butter lamps. Oma hum, 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 Oma hum. Oma hum, 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 Oma hum. Oma hum, 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 Oma hum. Om Ahum, 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 
Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum. Om Ahum, 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 Om Ahum. Om Ahum, 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 Om Ahum. Om Ahum, 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 Om Ahum. Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum. And then we can sit back down and recite Making Charity the Beings of Six Realms on page 52. Think that you have received these offerings through the kindness of all sentient beings. Think, these offerings are not mine. Make charity of the offerings to all the hell beings, pratas, animals, humans, asuras and suras. This is done to counteract the thought that the offerings belong to you. Think that you are making these offerings on their behalf. You and all other beings are going to make offerings to the Buddhas together. Generate great happiness at having accumulated infinite merit by thinking in this way. Also think that these offerings are given to every sentient being of each of the six realms, becoming whatever they need for both temporary and ultimate happiness. Offering to the merit field. I actually m make and mentally transform the offerings of humans and devas. May Samantabhadra clouds of offerings pervade the whole sky. Now when we recite the offering cloud mantra three times, we can imagine that we multiply these offerings. We make these light offerings manifold, you know, filling the whole space in here, this gompa, but also beyond that, filling the entire world, the entire universe with light. We can think that as we recite this mantra. And also thinking that the merit field, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, actually receive these offerings and experience great bliss in their mind. Om Namo Bhagavate Vachasara Brahmandane Tathagataya Arahate Samyaksam Buddhaya Tayata Om Vajre Vajre Maha Vajre Maha Desa Vajre Maha Vidya Vajre Maha Bodhi Chita Vajre Maha Bodhi Mendo Basam Gramana Vajre Savakama Avarana Vishodana Vajre Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Vachasara Brahmandane Tathagataya Arahate Samyaksam Buddhaya Tayata Om Vajde Vajde Maha Vajde Maha Theta Vajde Maha Vidya Vaj Maha Bodhi Chita Vajde Maha Bodhi Mendo Basam Gramana Vajde Savakama Avarana Vishuddhana Vajde Soha 
Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasara Brahmandane Tathagataya Arahate Samyak Sambudaya Tayata Om Vajre Vajre Maha Vajre Maha Deza Vajre Maha Vidya Vajre Maha Bodhi Chita Vajre Maha Bodhi Mendo Basam Gramana Vajre Savakama Avarana Vishodana Vajre Soha By the power of truth of the three rare sublime ones, the blessings of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the great wealth of the completed two collections, and the sphere of phenomena being pure and inconceivable, may these piles of clouds of offerings arising through transformation by the Bodhisattvas Arya Samantabhadra, Manjushri and so forth, unimaginable and inexhaustible, equaling the sky, arise and in the eyes of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the ten directions be received. Now we present the offerings. Yeah. We visualize that we present these offerings to all these various um, holy beings, holy objects, and the various manifestations of these holy beings in the various places and countries of the world. And first, we make offerings to all the holy objects here in this place. Every single tanka, statue, stupa, scripture, picture, tzatza, relic and prayer wheel, by seeing them as inseparable from our own virtuous friend, who is one with all other virtuous friends. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. Then we make all these offerings both real and visualized to every single holy object in this country. All the statues, stupas, scriptures, pictures, all the centers, altars, every single altar in people's homes, the prayer wheels, tzatzas, and any virtuous friend in this country, by seeing them as inseparable from our one's own virtuous friend. We present these offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer, and generate great bliss. Then we make all these offerings both real and visualized to every single holy object in India, including the Bodhgaya stupa where 1,000 Buddhas descended. Also we make these offerings to all the holy beings in India, including His Holiness the Dalai Lama and other virtuous friends that you have here. By seeing them as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend, we make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer, and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings both real and visualized to every single holy object in Tibet, including the Jovo Rinpoche in Lhasa that was blessed by Guru Shakyamuni Buddha himself, by seeing them as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. We make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings both real and visualized to every single holy object in Nepal, including Bodhanath Stupa and Svayambhunath Stupa, and in any other virtuous friend and for any other virtuous friends in Nepal. By seeing them as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend, we make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. We 
we make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to every single holy object in the other Buddhist countries, such as mainland China, Thailand, Taiwan, Burma and so forth, by seeing them all, seeing all the holy objects as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. We make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. We now make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to every single holy object in the rest of the world, by seeing all the holy objects as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. We make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to all the ten direction Buddha, Dharma and Sangha by seeing them all by seeing all of them as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. We make these offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to all the ten direction statues, stupas and scriptures by seeing them as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. Make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to Buddha Chen Resik by seeing Chen Resik as inseparable from His Holiness the Dalai Lama and one's own virtuous friend. Make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to the seven medicine Buddhas, which is the same as making offerings to all the Buddhas, by seeing them as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. We make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. Then we make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to the Bodhisattva Siddhigarbha by seeing him as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. Make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. And we 
with this we can recite the actual light offering prayer on page 56 and we're going to recite it three times these actually performed and mentally imagined light offerings the manifestation of one's own innate awareness the Dharmakaya these clouds of offerings equaling the infinite sky I am offering to all the gurus and the three rare sublime ones and to all the statues, stupas and scriptures, all of which are manifestations of the guru. I have accumulated infinite merit by having generated bodhicitta, having made charity to sentient beings and having made the actual light offerings to the gurus, triple gem and to all holy objects of the ten directions. Due to this merit, whomever I promise to pray for, whose name I receive to pray for, and whoever prays to me, principally servants, benefactors and disciples, as well as all remaining sentient beings, living and dead, may the rays of the light of the five wisdoms completely purify all their degenerated vows in Samaya right now. May all the sufferings of the evil gone realms cease right now. May the three realms of samsara be empty right now. May all impure minds the obscurations be purified. May all impure appearances be purified. May the five holy bodies and wisdom spontaneously arise. These actually performed and mentally imagined light offerings, the manifestations of one's own innate awareness, the Dharmakaya, these clouds of offerings equaling the infinite sky, I am offering to all the gurus and the three rare sublime ones, and to all the statues, stupas and scriptures, all of which are manifestations of the guru. I have accumulated infinite merit by having generated bodhicitta, having made charity to the sentient beings, and having made the actual light offerings to the gurus, triple gem, and to all holy objects of the ten directions. Due to this merit, whomever I promise to pray for, whose name I receive to pray for, and whoever prays to me, principally servants, benefactors and disciples, as well as all remaining sentient beings, living and dead, may the rays of the light of the five wisdoms completely purify all their degenerated vows in Samaya right now. May all the sufferings of the evil gone realms cease right now. May the three realms of samsara be emptied right now. May all impure minds and their obscurations be purified. May all impure appearances be purified. May the five holy bodies and wisdom spontaneously arise. These actually performed and mentally imagined light offerings, the manifestations of one's own innate awareness, the Dharmakaya, these clouds of offerings equaling the infinite sky, I am offering to all the gurus and the three rare sublime ones, and to all the statues, stupas and scriptures, all of which are manifestations of the Guru. I have accumulated infinite merit by having generated bodhicitta, having made charity to the sentient beings, and having made the actual light offerings to the Gurus, Triple Gem, and to all holy objects of the Ten Directions. To do this merit whomever I promise to pray for, whose name I receive to pray for, and whoever prays to me, principally servants, benefactors and disciples, as well as all remaining sentient beings, living and dead, May the rays of the light of the five wisdoms completely purify all the degenerated vows in Samaya right now. May all the sufferings of the evil gone realms cease right now. May the three realms of samsara be emptied right now. May all impure minds and the obscurations be purified. May all impure appearances be purified. May the five holy bodies and wisdom spontaneously arise. At this point now we also recite uh, Lama Atisha's light offering prayer on page 60. May the light of the lamp be equal to the great 3000 worlds in their environments. May the wick of the lamp be equal to the king of mountains, Mount Meru. May the butter be equal to the infinite ocean. May there be billions of trillions of lamps in the presence of each and every Buddha. May the light illuminate the darkness of ignorance of all sentient beings, from the peak of samsara down to the most torturous hell, whereby they can see directly and clearly all ten directions, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and their pure lands. Om Vajra Aloke Ahum Emaho. I offer these beautifully exalted, clear and luminous lights to the thousand Buddhas of the fortunate eon, 
to all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the infinite pure lands and of the ten directions, to all the Gurus, meditation deities, Dakas, Dakinis, Dharma protectors, and the assembly of deities of all mandalas. Due to this, may my father, mother, and all sentient beings in this life and in all their future lives be able to see directly the actual pure lands of the complete and perfect Buddhas. May they unify with Buddha Amitabha in inseparable oneness. Please bless me and may my prayers be actualized as soon as possible due to the power of the truth of the Triple Gem and the assembly of deities of the Three Roots. Tayata Om Panchagriya Ava Bodhani Soha 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 The light transforms into a single brilliant five-color wisdom. On a lotus and moon disc the syllable Om and D appear. And from them 108 beautiful goddesses of light, Maramema, appear, wearing beautiful garments and precious garlands. Every goddess holds lights in her hands and from them emanate billions of trillions of infinite replicas of light offering goddesses. All of them make light offerings uninterruptedly to all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas in the, bu in the Buddha fields throughout all of space and to the peaceful and wrathful deities. And the dedication. Thus, due to the merits of having made such light offerings, may all the benefactors, the deceased and migrating beings of the six realms benefit. May all their degenerated Samaya and broken vows be restored. May all their superstitious obscurations be purified. May all their bad karma, negativities and obscurations be purified. May the three realms of samsara become empty immediately. Please grant control, power and realization. Maybe at this point we can recite uh, the prayer for uh, Lama Subarimpeshe's swift return. For all of you who have one copy, otherwise please share together. <coughs> Peerless teacher and assembly of the children of the victorious ones, Shravakas and Pratyeka Buddhas, Victorious Losang, father and sons, along with the lineage masters, all the objects of refuge of infinite lands, please bestow the virtue and goodness of accomplishing this prayer here and now, holding and spreading the Muni's precious and complete teachings. Through explanation and practice, you wore the armor of patience that is never discouraged. Incomparable of Venerable Guru, to you I make request. While striving single-pointedly for the sake of the victorious one's teachings, the sole gateway through which all benefit and happiness emerge, and for mother living beings, you suddenly departed to peace. What a great loss! Nevertheless, through the undeceiving truth of the blessings of the ocean of the three jewels and the great waves of bodhicitta of the children of the victorious ones, may the smile of a reincarnation swiftly beam in glory for fortunate disciples. And then we can also go back to page 57 to complete the dedications of the extensive offering practice. <coughs> Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow, and may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. Due to these infinite merits, may whatever suffering sentient beings have ripened upon me right now, 
May whatever happiness and virtue I have accumulated, including all the realizations of the path and the highest goal, enlightenment, be received by each hell being, preter, animal, human, asura and sura right now. Having dedicated in this way, you have accumulated infinite merit, so rejoice. May the precious sublime thought of enlightenment, the source of all success and happiness, for myself and all other sentient beings, be generated without even a second's delay. May that which has been generated increase more and more without degeneration. Due to all the merits of the three times collected by me, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and all other sentient beings, which are empty from their own sight, May the eye, which is empty from its own sight, achieve enlightenment, which is empty from its own sight, and lead all sentient beings who are empty from their own sight to that enlightenment by myself alone. Whatever white virtues I have thus created, I dedicate as causes, enabling me to uphold the holy dharma of scriptures and insights, and to fulfill without exception all the prayers and deeds of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the three times. By the force of this merit in all my lives may I never be separated from Mahayana's four spheres and may I reach the end of my journey along the paths of renunciation, bodhicitta, the pure view and the two stages. With Lama Tsongkhapa as our direct guru in all future lifetimes, may I, my family and all other sentient beings never be separated from the complete pure path praised by all victorious ones. Due to the merits of myself and others, may the victorious teachings of Lama Tsongkhapa, Losang Jagpa, flourish for a long time. May all the centers and projects of the FPMT immediately receive all the conditions necessary to preserve and spread the teachings. May all obstacles be pacified and may the FPMT organization in general and in the meditation centers in particular, all our activities to persevere and persevere particularly Lama Tsongkhapa's teachings, cause these teachings to continue without degeneration and to spread in the minds of all sentient beings. May those who have sacrificed their lives to benefit others through gen organization have long and healthy lives. May all their activities please the virtuous friends. In all their lives may they always be guided by perfectly qualified Mahana virtuous friends. May all their wishes succeed immediately in accordance with the Holy Dharma. And at this point, we also want to think about and recite all the various people who have sponsored uh, these battle lamps and, uh, and who are supporting the FPMT uh, organization and the Tushita in general, especially. We want to recite these names and dedicate also especially for them. morning especially everybody online who is following now uh, especially our dear sponsors all around the world wishing you a very happy Sakadava day so please dedicate the merit of these light offerings to two large butter lambs and seven large butter lambs to Lee Sen Zi Kalum uh, Lee Rong Kyung Claire, Li Tsi Ling, Li Tsi Yang and family, Yanis Heng and family, Cedric Heng and family, Dawson Heng and family. We would like to make these following Bhattalam offerings and to pray for the swift return of our precious Guru, Kyapya Lama Zupa Rinpoche. Then one large butter lamb for Li Nyong Lim. For Frida, ten large butter lambs. For Frida Yo, Telda Yo, Li Hui Hing, Li Hui Seng, Cherry Li, Chung Kiang, Ji, Thomas Yui, Patrick Pua, La, James Li, and Audrey Ten. May all our negative karma, all obstructions be purified, have good health and happiness. Miss. <laughs> Miss Chan, I hope Miss Chan, I know and family, 
Madam Onkoi Peng, Miss Chan Shulin, Mr. and Mrs. Brian West and family uh, offered four large butter lambs. We would like to dedicate the above to the swift return of Lama Zopa Rinpoche, the long life of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and all holy gurus. May all their wishes become true. The happiness and well-being of all sentient beings, the happiness and well-being of the late Mr. and Mrs. Chang Yong Kun, my family, Chan family, and loved ones, and for world peace. Thank you for this opportunity to create skies of merit on this auspicious day. Lai sent two large butter lamps for Lai Chi Cheng and Tam Kong Cheng's family, uh, wishing for happiness, health, and prosperity. Um, Shang Shang Karnik and wife Hui Yi Sang uh, offered one large butter lamp by the virtue of merit accumulated by offering this butter lamp. May Hui Sang remain healthy and give birth to a very healthy, intelligent, and beautiful child. Uh, two large butter lamps for Subang Ki Karnik. Whatever merit I will accumulate by offering this butter lamp, may, may I dedicate to the enlightenment of all sentient beings without exception. Whatever merit I am going to accumulate by offering this butter lamp, I dedicate to Dr. Hui Sang. May she have a healthy pregnancy. May she and Shang Shang Karnik be blessed with a healthy, intelligent, and long-lived and beautiful child. Uh, Paola Baggio offered one large butter lamp. I offer this butter lamp for Sakadava Day in order to dedicate all the benefits to the precious and special body, speech, and mind of the great gurus, buddhas, bodhisattvas of all times. May this offer bring the light to all sentient beings. And then Amit uh, Kiesha, I think he's here. Yes, he offered one butter lamp. Thank you so much. Uh, and you can do your own dedications. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can say them aloud, Ma Amici. Why not? <laughs> Thank you, Amici. Then to Taruna, to Siani, one large battle lamp uh, she dedicated especially for her parents. Then Lisa Gray offered one battle lamp to the swift return of Jabja Lama Zubarimbishi and also for the long, stable life of His Holiness. May all His holy wishes and all the wishes of all the Bodhisattvas and Buddhas be immediately fulfilled. And then from Jansina, is Jansina here today? What's that? Oh, she's online. Hi, Jansina. Uh, Bartanova, she offered one butter lamp um, for the swift return of Captain Lama Zopa uh, May all the wishes of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas be quickly be fulfilled and for the great enlightenment of all sentient beings. And then I, Moina Brown offered one butter lamp. Bumilia Buglani offered a butter lamp and Pankash Pandit. Uh, may all their good wishes be immediately fulfilled. And then Martha Normington offered five small butter lamps to world peace and the prevalence of bodhicitta activity worldwide for our dear teachers to continue their presence and teachings in this life and many future lifetimes. May they have good health on all the necessary resources to continue their important work for the world. For my good friend with Bodhisattva nature, John Pierre Testa, who passed away recently on the 25th of May, one month after being diagnosed with metastatic lung cancer. For his complete enlightenment, for the benefit of all sentient beings, and his swift return as a Bodhisattva, for making all the necessary auspicious conditions for the Vajrasattva retreat, which I will be attending this summer at Tushita. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we all pray <laughs> that it will be very auspicious. And for Osevsky, Normington, and Testa families, for everyone's peace, happiness, health, wealth, and auspiciousness. And then for Giam Paola Samborlini, um, who offered a butter lamp, and for Monica, who um, dedicates of 
of course, for Nina Zeket, uh, who passed on this morning, two o'clock, in Brazil on this auspicious Sagadava day, and I'm sure she has a very, very, very amazing rebirth. For Christina and Uli Haupts, Borg, Elodie, Eris, Ashish, Robin, Tara, Max, Sigmund, and Raisa offered one small butter lamp, and she can make her dedications right here. <laughs> <laughs> She's giving me the look, so it's for Luana, Raluca, Dan, Vali, Georgi, and all sentient beings. And if I mispronounce the names, I'm so sorry. Uh, for Christina, who's also here right now, for Marie and Wangdu, for Mama and all sentient beings, Christina, what are your dedications? especially for the Vienna Center. <laughs> I'm sure they're missing you right now very much. Uh, for Manuela, for all sentient beings, Manuela is right here. Please, Manuela. And Leo, who is here, offered two butter lambs for his grandmother, all sentient beings lost in the war and uh, greed. Leo, you're right here. <laughs> you want to add anything, Leo? To <laughs> uh, Pema Yankila, who is probably down in a temple already, making many offerings. Uh, she offered one butter lamb for the long life of His Holiness and for the happiness and health of all sentient beings. May all sentient beings be free of suffering. And for Ria, no, for Ria Bide, um, she offered one butter lamb and we are praying for her long and healthy life and may all her good wishes be fulfilled for Venkata Shravan Pranam uh, he dedicates for Samantha Bhadra and Man, as Samantha Bhadra and Manjushri did and for Wong Shi Choi who offered a butter lamb for all sentient beings and I would like to invite you here who are all here uh, on this very early morning of a special day, maybe you can uh, say aloud your own dedications. Yeah, shall we just start right here? Thank you so much. Experiences I've had through that, 
you so much, everybody, for your special dedications, for your offerings, your good wishes. And now I think we're all going to go down to His Holiness, the Dalai Lama's teachings. We're so fortunate. I think we have no idea how fortunate we are. We just walked down the hill and we are right there <laughs> in His Holiness' presence. And everybody who's online, uh, you don't miss out nowadays because there are these amazing, amazing webcasts. Uh, where you see His Holiness right there in front of you. So it's very precious. So uh, you can just go on His Holiness website, dalalama.com, and it's translated into many different languages. Um, of course, our precious translator of uh, the last two days, Geshe Kausam Wongo, will translate it into German so and so many other languages. And then we continue here at Tushita with... Um, so Sencha Parampashi's teachings, which has started two days ago, uh, you can still register and join them, uh, very precious teachings on Shantagyoti. And uh, starting today at two o'clock, from two to four, and then we have a Guru Puja uh, tonight at 6.30. So please, you can uh, join us for any of these events. Uh, and thank you so much, have a beautiful Sagadava day and may it be all auspicious.